did it again. I seem to get more Australian when I meet um, new people from from different countries. I feel like this video I'm going to post in three parts because it's just ridiculous. I don't know why it's doing it. Um, what's next? So now that's all, all done. Done and dusted. I'll just zoom out a little bit. There you go. There they are. Now, let's colour them in. Right, so the colours I'm using are from Arteza. I accidentally got watercolour ones. I just, I liked the look of, here I'll show you. Hang on. When I ordered them online, I liked the look of those ones, but I didn't read closer that they were watercolour. But I do like watercolour a bit better than um, just normal colouring in pencils because I feel like they, they have more pigment in them or something. Something about it makes them like a brighter colour when you colour in. See that? Matcha green and spring green. So it's 601 and 609. Just start quite lightly. And we can go darker if we want later. Which we will want because this is way too light. <laughs> darker at the top like I said and then so if you start light everywhere and then start to go over a bit darker you can blend the the gradient of dark to light as like you'll have more control over it there we go. all right so that one was spring green it just looks a bit lighter you can see in there that's that one now let's use some matcha green shall we again we'll be light talking usually but it's weird just talking to myself when it's not natural talking to myself you know I don't naturally say to myself I can make this gradient of colour a bit more even by, by drawing in lighter tones initially I kind of want to use another darker colour. Which one? Um, yeah, let's use that one. Alright, so that's mint 
mint green, 606. And we'll do down at the bottom here. Quite a bit different from the others, isn't it? Actually, it kind of looks a little bit like the top. To come full circle. Yeah, okay. I think gradient there. I'm going to put my colours back. I sorted them out the other day. So they were in a better order. And I don't. I'm going to have to do it again because it took a while. There we go. I'll show you in a bit after we finish. Um, let's grab some browns. I don't agree with the name of this one. Burnt Orchard. Kind of looks more caramelly. Be nice and a bit darker as well. Sienna brown. There we go. 305 and that one was 202. Alright, which one's darker? The Sienna brown's a bit darker, so we'll just start with the light colour up the top. Like we did with the leaf. Always concerned with staying inside the lines when I'm colouring because I just I mainly do like 99% of the time and anytime I don't I'm gonna put colour everywhere anyway. Kind of doesn't look like it's fading into a different colour. I might have to darken that centre bit. down to me so hang on let's try and write upside down oh that's the wrong way around Purple doesn't look 
very good at everything, it's only ever purple. But sometimes you can go against the grain and colour something that's not normally that colour. Just pick whatever colour you want. Pick something you like. Pick something you know. Pick something to experiment with. If you've got a bunch of if you've got a bunch of colouring books at home, pick a page that you don't like and don't want to colour in. And just experiment. Because it could turn out really, really nice. So that one was um eggplant purple. 413. And let's go with Maybe we'll go into a into a blue. This one is Amethyst Purple 416. Okay. Alright, so the way I colour is in little circular motions. I mean, I didn't used to colour this way, but. Um, after some video tutorials I've seen, I just, some people colored this way and once I tried it, I really liked it. It just seems to, to blend the color better into the paper, just in a circular way, like you're hitting all the different angles. Let's go, so this one, I'll keep that one out, the amethyst. This one's blueberry blue, and that's 511. Start from the top. It's just, if I cover all one direction, I mean, that's fine, but it's, it's I think it's a bit harder to stay in the lines. I don't know. Just, yeah, because look, look, I've got all that, and I'm going to go around, and then it's, it's two different ways of coloring in one thing. And then I've got to go over everything so it all looks the same, you know? Let's just blend this a bit better. Come down into here. Do this half. Half blue, very blue. There we go. See, you're just, you're just able to scoop around where the lines of the, the drawing are. are really good with blending and I think these Arteza ones are quite good with blending too because because they're watercolour ones they when you add water that it breaks down I, I probably shouldn't do that but because if my hands get sm sweaty or a bit moist which they do sorry if you don't like that word I won't say it again um but if your hands get a bit sweaty and then you do that especially with the watercolour ones it'll just It'll smear it all, make washes. Yeah, that's terrible. Alright, I think that's done. I just need to pick a colour for the middle. What should I do? What should I do? Is it blue? Really dark blue? Is this indigo? Let's try indigo. Yeah, what indigo looks like. 512. Oh, it is. It's like a nice, it's a nice blue. What I'll do instead of doing two different lines, I'll just get lighter as I go up. Because if I keep it dark all the way through, then it'll kind of look like that or blue into that. So it's lighter up here where it's darker, and it's darker down here where it's lighter. And da 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 Spend all day doing this. Make myself. Alright. And 
near the leaves. Let's draw a leaf. Right, now I said that I'd show you my sorted out colours, and I will. Oh, let's just zoom out. There. I started with the top there, and I put them all like I, I like turn them all around so you could see the, um, the names of them. I don't read them before I pick them, but. It just, it looks a lot nicer and neater. A bit OCD with it. There we go. And then down here as well. All of those ones. Probably not in exactly the right order. And I mean, that one says brown, but it looks green, doesn't it? So I'll put it down there. And I know that that one looks blue and it even says ocean blue. But, like, I, I couldn't fit that pigment anywhere. Like... I mean, I could possibly put it there, but then it's light, dark, light. Because that one, the emerald green, is lighter than the ocean blue. And I just, I don't know, I think it looks nice there. I think it's all right. And there we have it. And there we go. That's my upside down writing now. But that's how I did it. Thank you for watching.